One NFL player eats food that's illegal. Another player's diet turned him into an animal? Here's what NFL players actually eat. And Patrick Mahomes' diet is so weird, the police got involved. It all started when Mahomes was a kid. Who you calling a kid? Uh, my bad, bro. See, Mahomes' journey towards stardom all came from a secret weird recipe. And I'm not talking about this or this. I'm talking about this. Okay. When I was young, I used to eat ketchup sandwiches, just bread and ketchup. <laughs> so uh, that, that, that is disgusting. I'll, I'll give How you often? One. Every other day. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. Dude really became one of the best quarterbacks in the world eating ketchup sandwiches. And that ain't even the craziest part. Not only did Mahomes start putting ketchup on every single meal, dude can't even train without ketchup. And to make the situation even crazier, Mahomes' ketchup fetish followed him into expensive restaurants. And anytime he covered his gourmet food in ketchup, it got his ass clowned. I've definitely been at a few nice restaurants where I've like got the steak and asked for ketchup and the chef comes out and asks like, what's wrong, what's wrong? I'm like, <laughs> so just when you think his ketchup addiction couldn't get any worse, recently, I heard that Mahomes only joined the NFL just for the ketchup. Cause not only did he sign a brand deal with Hunts, Mahomes used the money from the endorsement to open up his very own Whataburger restaurant, all cause. My favorite probably is the Whataburger ketchup. So of course. Mahomes just had to get the rest of Kansas City addicted to his favorite ketchup. As soon as the grand opening went viral, everybody needed a taste. I'm talking cars lined up for miles, and traffic got so out of control, the police had to step in. Damn, now that's crazy. Mahomes eating ketchup every day turned him into a legend. But another player ate something that turned him into a cheetah? Yeah, I'm not playing. There's a reason why the cheetah became Tyreek Hill's nickname. And it's all thanks to his diet. A few years ago, people were blown away by videos of Tyreek's speed. And after Tyreek saw the tweets wondering how he got so fast, he let them know he got it from his grandma? Well, Tyreek let us know that it's one of the things he cannot live without. All right, so my next essential is none other than Popeyes. You know, I feel like this is part of my grandmother's secret recipe for me being so fast. Typically what I usually get is a five piece chicken, spicy, black and ranch, hot sauce and honey. And also I like a side of Doritos. Wait, so you mean to tell me this dude's cooking players like this and he eats like me? <laughs> but for real, his obsession with fast food only gets crazier. Cause one day he pulled up to Popeye's so hungry he offered to buy food for the entire restaurant just so we could skip the line. I just offered to pay for everybody's food in line just to get a Popeye sandwich. I, I, I just had to come get this, y'all. This is my diet right here. This is all I eat right here at Popeye's. And beside this Popeye's, I got a Chick-fil-A sandwich. H hold up, man spent hundreds of dollars just to get a Popeye's chicken sandwich and had food on him from another restaurant? I guess I don't understand cause I ain't a cheetah. But animal or not, Tyreek became one of the NFL's best wide receivers, all because of his secret recipe. But one player's diet came from his secret illness. Marshawn Lynch always looked unstoppable, until one day, he got hit with mysterious stomach aches. Marshawn tried everything he could to get back on the field, but nothing was working. So eventually, he tried the last thing he could think of. Skittles? My uncle told me, man, you disrespectful if you call them Skittles. You say they power pellets. <laughs> Whatever you say, dog. But for real. Once Marshawn tasted the rainbow, he took his game to a whole new level. His stomach pain went away. His game got better by the day. But since he felt like he was only becoming great because of the candy, his addiction completely took over his life. News got out about how much Marshawn loved Skittles. So anytime he showed up for game day, the entire arena was filled with candy. And anytime he scored, the fans literally showered him in Skittles. Even Marshawn's own teammates fueled his addiction just to help him win games. If we was having a bad night out there, they for sure would go to, to the depths of the earth to try and find some candy for me. Like, is your mama in the stands? I'm going to go find your mama in the stands. Tell her bring you some candy or something. <laughs>
Yeah! Marshawn's obsession with the candy was getting a little crazy. He'd pull up to games like... He'd be on live TV like... And he'd drive around like... So once the brand saw Marshawn was doing all of that, Skittles invited Marshawn to their trap and revealed his very own pack. My face is on this pack of Skittles. This is dope. But <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Damn, Marshawn Lynch? More like Willy Wonka. Cause candy is literally this dude's golden ticket. Skittles really turned this man into an NFL legend. But even though Marshawn's diet helped him become a star, what another player eats could get him arrested. Lately, Aaron Rodgers has been keeping secrets. After he had his best seasons ever, winning back-to-back -back MVPs, people began to question how he could pull off such a feat so late in his career, until eventually, he admitted his performances weren't a coincidence. It was all cause of what he ate. Coming into the 2020 season, Rodgers secretly took a trip from the United States deep into South America. And when Rogers arrived, he wasn't there to take in the scenery. He began experimenting with something illegal. A psychedelic plant-based drink mixed with DMT called ayahuasca. And yeah, it's as crazy as it sounds. Because once Rogers took it, he started tripping. Roger's hallucinations completely changed who he was. And once he got back onto the field, he could see the game like nobody else. So eventually, he told his fans the truth. I really feel like that set me on my course to be way more free at work, as a leader, as a teammate, as a friend, as a lover. I really feel like that experience paved the way for me to have the best season of my career. Now see, Rogers didn't mean to influence anybody in a bad way, but the punishment in the US for being caught with anything related to DMT could have you facing 20 years in jail. So Rogers' drug use went viral, and with it being the headline of every sports show, one man literally tried to convince Rogers to keep taking it. I think the Packers should make a way for Rodgers to go on one of his ayahuasca trips before the playoffs. Because if it really <laughs> helped him in the regular season, it ain't helping him in the playoffs. I'm telling you. Right? Hmm, dude's right, man. Rodgers needs all the help he can get if he's doing things like this. If you thought that was weird, wait till you hear about this next player's diet. Cause DK Metcalf made me question everything I've ever learned about food. Just look at this dude. Six foot four, 230 pounds, less than 2% body fat. DK is such a freak, even Kevin Hart clowned him. Well, how old are you, man? 24, man. 24, this is stupid, is what it is. You look like somebody drew you, man. <laughs> so looking like this, ain't no way this dude eats anything other than chicken and broccoli, right? Wrong. DK admitted he's on such a ridiculous meal plan, even sports legends were speechless. I'm a candy type person. Oh, um, what? I eat one meal a day, drink one coffee, and eat like three, four bags of candy. Uh, yeah. Me and KG had the same reaction. Cause when you got a dude built like Donkey Kong, telling you he eats like that, nobody could take him seriously. But at least DK's diet hasn't caused him any trouble. Cause what another player eats made him so bad, he got kicked out of the NFL. It was the 2011 NFL Draft. And with the number one pick, the Panthers only had one name on their radar, Cam Newton. Coming in as one of the most watched players, the entire world wanted to see if Cam could live up to the hype. So now, with a point to prove, Cam came in and at first started making history. He couldn't be stopped. I mean, Cam's immediate impact shocked the entire NFL. And nothing seemed wrong. I mean, his diet was on point. So eventually, he won his first MVP and carried his team all the way to the Super Bowl. But when Cam stepped on the field for the biggest game of his career, he came up short. 
Cam and the Panthers lost, and seeing another team celebrating a game that he was expected to win was a feeling he was never going to get over. So Cam was hungry to reach the next level. Up to that point, he ate a strict pescatarian diet completely filled with vegetables and fish. But as healthy as that was, Cam did some research and thought a new diet would fuel him to become greater than ever. So he made the change until things turned ugly. After switching his diet, Cam came into the new season a completely different player. He went from being one of the league's best quarterbacks to one of the worst. He threw more interceptions. He couldn't run like he used to. And cause he was so weak and fatigued, one play led to his most devastating moment. Newton gets hit, ball is out. I'm really not quite certain how you don't feel that coming. Right then and there, Cam and everybody around him realized he messed up big time. What Cam ate became a huge problem. Cause when he was desperate to reach legendary status, he went vegan meaning he dropped everything meat and based his entire diet on plants. But once Cam did this, he started losing weight and muscle. Even other NFL players told him to go back to his old ways. I got a vegan. Mm -hmm. A who? I got a vegan. A what? <laughs> okay, well, I think I need you this upcoming season to change your diet. Go back to eating honey buns, no, Twinkies, McDonald's. So yeah, Chad Ochocinco's advice shouldn't be taken seriously but Cam should have listened to his doctor's advice. Because when they found out that his new diet lacked essential protein for muscle growth, yeah, they tried convincing him to change his meal plan, but Cam was too late. The Panthers not only benched him, they released him. Damn, Cam's diet literally ruined his career, but at least it didn't almost kill him like his car. And Cam doesn't even have the craziest car in the NFL. I know you want to hear more about that. So just click this video right here.